Hello, this is Chris, and I am back again with another trailer reaction. Today, I'm going to be giving my reaction to The Incredibles 2 official trailer. I think this is like official trailer 2 or 3 or something like that. Essentially, this is our first proper look at the movie. They released a short teaser trailer, which I did a reaction for, which you can find a link to in the description down below. And I think since then, they've maybe done like a few other little shorts as well. I think they did one for like some kind of Olympics thing. Um, I haven't done reactions to those, though. The Incredibles is back after a long hiatus. Uh, the first Incredibles movie came out in 2004, I believe. And um, this has been a long time coming, I think, out of any other Pixar movie, maybe besides Toy Story. This is the one that fans have wanted a sequel to the most. And, um, I mean, we are getting one. Whether it's the sequel that we want, we'll have to wait and see in a couple of months' time. Uh, what were my impressions on the teaser trailer? With any Pixar film with a teaser trailer and stuff like that, there isn't really that much to go on. It's just sort of like a fun little short, usually, which isn't actually used in the final movie. I'm expecting all this stuff, though, in this trailer to actually be in the final movie. I think it was some, like, fun little thing with Jack-Jack, which is great. Um... My thoughts on the first Incredibles movie, when I first saw it as a kid, I didn't really gravitate towards it as much as I did, say, for the likes of Toy Story, or Bugs Life, or Monsters Inc., or Finding Nemo, or any of the Pixar movies that came out before this one. But uh, I've actually come to appreciate this one a lot more as an adult, and uh, there's a lot of little things you pick up that you don't pick up on as a kid. Uh, as a kid, you just see it as like a fun superhero adventure, but when you watch it as an adult, you see there's a lot of sort of meta references, and sort of, you know, a play on getting older and like middle age and midlife crisis and things like that and there's a lot going for it and I really enjoy The Incredibles. This sequel though I was a little bit let down to find out that it's not going to be set you know 10 plus years after the first one. I really wanted to see all these characters aged up by 10 years, see where Violet and Jack-Jack and Dash are now, what they're doing with their lives and how Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl are actually coping now, now that they're a little bit older as well. Uh, unfortunately we're not going to get that. I think this is picking up almost directly after where the first one ended with the Underminer. But I'm still excited for this one regardless because it's another Pixar movie and I'm just looking forward to seeing these characters again. So I understand there might be a slight lag issue with my camera. I've just been picking up on that. So apologies if that plays throughout the reaction video. But uh, we're going to watch the trailer together now. I'm going to talk much more about it afterwards. And let's see what's new in this new Incredibles trailer. So I'm going to click play now. Did you wash your hands? With soap did you dry them what is this all vegetables who wanted all vegetables i did so are we going to talk about it what the elephant in the room what an elephant oh wow well. mom's new job she like working it's for the government or something to make some wrong things right bring supers back into the sunlight we need to change people's perceptions about superheroes oh and that's Soul goodman isn't it from breaking bad better than me <clears throat> Whoa, i like mom's new job bye sweetie i'll watch the kids no problem <laughs> so is this going to be like a stay at home dad kind of thing I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Wow. Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? He's in excellent health. Whoa, what the? Num num cooking. Oh, God. Cooking. Whoa, okay. That is freaky. You know it's crazy, right? To help my family. That's gonna be the underminer there the law, with a big drill. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. Thank you, young man. Oh, that soundtrack though. What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert. Green Slater interrupts this program for an important announcement. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite bit of the first Incredibles movie was um, Frozone's wife in the background. It's good to see they've kept that going. Um, 
Yeah, so, I mean, this isn't actually what I would expect from this movie. I thought it was just going to be the Underminer all the way through. But that weird screen... What does he say? Screensaver guy at the end? Um, I don't know if he's going to be working for Underminer. I don't know if he's going to be a new villain. He kind of looks like a new villain. So maybe they dispatch Underminer at the beginning of the film. Underminer strikes me as a villain that you can get rid of in your first act. Like, start with a big action sequence, get people back into it, show the possibilities of the new technology and how far animation's come since 2004, um, and then just, like, roll with it with a new villain after that. Uh, it looks like they're doing some really interesting stuff with this sequel, though. Um, I'm not too sold on this trailer. I think the movie will actually be better than any of the trailers show. I don't think they'll give everything away in the trailers. But it looks like they're breaking apart the family. Like, it looks like Elastigirl's got this great new job, whether she's, like, working for the government or some kind of black ops operation. I have no idea. And Mr. Incredible's gonna have to be the stay-at-home dad. And I can see that causing tension between him and his wife and him and the kids and, like, him being stressed and him not being able to be Mr. Incredible, the guy that was idolised, that was merchandised, that everyone looked up to. He's not in the limelight now. And essentially, Elastigirl is almost going to be the breadwinner of the family, at least in the superhero department. So I think that's a cool angle they're going with there. Clearly, by the end of the film, they're all going to make amends and they're going to realise that what she's been missing and what he's been missing and they all need to work together. You see them working together in this trailer anyway, so we know that that's going to be the case. Um, what else can I say about this movie? The look of the animation, on the characters at least, is slightly different as well. I'm guessing that's because it's been, what, 14 years since the last movie came out? Uh, the characters are going to change. Pixar's animation, especially on the human characters, has definitely changed. Um, and I want to say as well, sort of like the shading and colouring and lighting of the characters on the animation style in this. It almost looks like their comic book counterparts when you see them on the front covers of magazines. That idyllic image of them, it's almost like they've sort of brought that into the animation. I may be reading too much into that. If anyone else picked up on that, um, do let me know. Uh, it's Brad Bird directing again. I think he's writing the movie as well, and this is a movie that people have wanted for a long, long time, so I'm sure it's going to be great. You're going to have loads of carryover jokes from the first one. You're going to have your fun Edna Mode scene with Jack-Jack by the looks of it. You've got Frozone back, Frozone's wife. So all the ingredients are there, and I just hope this really comes back and is a solid entry and continues the characters in a logical way. As I said, I really wish they'd have just gone with, like, the whole time jump thing. It's kind of like when they did, when they originally announced a sequel to Monsters, Inc. before it became a prequel with Monsters University. You know, we really wanted to see Boo grown up and, like, how she'd react with the monster world, and we didn't get that, and I'm kind of the same way with this one. I think they could have gone in some really interesting territory, had the age of the characters up, that being said, with what we've got, it looks like a fun movie. I'm definitely looking forward to this one, and I'm going to keep an open mind with it. So that'll do it for my reaction to Incredibles 2 official trailer. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Are you looking forward to this movie? What did you think of the first film? Who's your favourite character? Anything Pixar or Incredibles related, please do let me know. That'll do it for my video right now, guys. But be sure to check back for some more trailer reactions as well as movie reviews over the next coming few days and weeks. That'll do it for me. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.